Hey, welcome to Bumble Tea Studio. This is going to be our new venture. <laughs> we are going to be posting um, videos so that you can be occupied while yeah. you're at home. I'm Jan. I'm Andrea. And we hope that um, some of these fun projects will keep you busy at home. We have lots of projects on our website and we will be posting new ones daily um, just to keep you busy. So if you order our projects, then we'll give you the links to our um, free tutorials. So we are gonna start today with the bunny kit. It's on our website. We've already sold lots of them. They'll be shipped out and we're doing curbside pickup. Um, we have kind of made do with what we have in our shop right now. Normally when we would do this kind of project, we would have our patterns printed but since we can't go to a printer right now, we decided to go in and draw the pattern for you. So I just opened up my box and this is what is gonna be in your box. There's gonna be a piece of pattern ease that has your bunny, or you might've ordered the lion or the tiger. It's gonna have your animal already traced on the front. There's gonna be two sides to your pattern ease. It's gonna be labeled side A and side B. First, we're going to start working on side A. So when you pull your pattern out, lay it out with side A facing up. Also in your box, you're going to have some easy steam. This is the sticky backing that you're going to iron on the back of your fabrics that you're going to lay on your pattern. And it has two sides. It has a grid side to it, and it also has a blank side to it. So we will show you how to use that. Also in your kit, you're gonna find a big neutral piece of fabric. And whether it's the bunny or the lion, this neutral we put in the kit to use as your face and your ears. On the lion, it would be the main face. Um, so that's gonna be in your kit. Also, you're gonna have a bigger piece that's colorful that we put in the kit for the, the clothing of the bunny or the base of the bunny. Um, then you're going to have some pieces that are small prints. Um, some are kind of neutral. We thought these would be great for things like your eyes, the inside of your ears, your nose pieces. And literally, you can do anything you want. You don't have to say, okay, this is a certain piece on here. This is the fun creative part where you can just use your imagination and come up with what you want to do. It's good on the front end to kind of look through your fabrics and decide, okay, I think I'll use this for my nose. And I think I'll use this for, you know, the dark part of my eye. Um, just kind of think it through on the front end. Then once you've done that, and also we put in a piece of felt in um, most all the kits for the nose part. Um, and it's the same on the lion too, on the nose. We thought the felt would be cute. It gives it a little bit of texture. Then also in your kit, you're gonna have a stack of florals. And these florals are gonna be what you use for all the decorations on your bunny, for the florals and the things that you're gonna add um, as embellishments on. And that'll be the last part that you come to. And I'll show you um, kind of close up what I'm talking about that um, this is the florals that we cut out, um, are added as just the decoration. So the first thing we're going to start with is the base of, of your bunny. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your big piece of fabric first. That's your neutral piece. And what you're wanting to do with this neutral piece is you want to put easy steam on it. So what I do, and this you want to use very sparingly because you want to make sure you have enough for all your pieces. So on the bunny, you can tell that you're going to use most all of this piece of fabric because you're going to trace the face and then you're going to move it and you're going to trace the ears. So you do need to back your whole big piece of neutral. So what I usually do is I lay it just on top of my easy steam 
and I will just cut my easy steam about this size so that we're not gonna waste any of this, okay? And then what you do is you take your easy steam and you lay your fabric the right side down. You take your easy steam and you peel off the plain paper side, not the grid side. And when you go to peel this off, you wanna make sure the sticky stuff sticks to your grid side. So pull off the plain paper side and then you just discard that paper. Then you're gonna take your that piece and you're gonna lay it down on your fabric after you've traced it, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece of Easy Steam and you're gonna lay it on here and you're gonna gently press it so that you can see through your pattern, okay? Now you're gonna see on here, I can kind of faintly see the outline of the rabbit face. So that's what I'm tracing right now, okay? So you're just gonna trace it. You can use a pen or a pencil, whatever you wanna use, and just draw on the grid side, okay? Now, I also need to do the ears, and you can see it doesn't fit with the way it is right now. So I'm just gonna gently peel this up. And this is why you don't press it down very hard, okay? And I'm going to trace this ear on here. And I wanna be able to see the whole thing on here. So I'm going to trace my ear on here, just like this. And I'm gonna cut it out, okay? And then I'm gonna trace my other ear. And I'm gonna lay it on here where I can see it. And I'm gonna trace this ear, okay? All right, so I've got my three pieces traced. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on my fabric. And you're just gonna lay it down on there, smooth it out, and then you're gonna iron it down, okay? And you can just use the iron on high heat. You can iron really on either side. You can iron on your paper side, or you can flip it over and iron on your fabric side either one, but you need to just press down and make sure that it's good and adhered. And if you're doing this with your kids, moms, maybe you do this part. Um, okay, so once it's ironed down, you're gonna set it aside. Then our recommendation is, I mean, you can do it individual steps, but what we usually do is we'll do that part, then we'll pick out the next part of our rabbit. So say you're going to do the next part, you're going to trace this little outline, this little circle part that goes behind the nose. So, and say you want to do it in this pink. Well, take your fabric and you can see this fabric is a lot bigger than this. So what I would do is I would cut down this piece of fabric a little bit smaller so that you don't waste your easy steam. You might end up using this for something else, but that way you're not wasting so much. So then you would take your easy steam, you would cut a piece that's about this size, and then you're gonna do the same process again. You're gonna peel off the back, the side with no grit. You're gonna gently place it over the Spot. You're going to take your pencil or pen and you're going to trace that shape. Okay. Then you're going to gently peel it up. You're going to place it on your fabric. You're going to iron it down and then set that aside. So you're going to do that with every single piece. You're going to do that with the inside of the eye. You're going to do the outside of the eye. You're going to do the big patch. You're going to do, you can do anything for the whiskers. Um, you're going to do the same thing for the clothing. You're going to do the inside of the ears. Um, so you're going to literally do that step for every piece on here. Okay. Then after that, after you've gotten 
the main pieces done. We're not gonna get to the flowers yet, but once you've gotten all your main pieces traced and done, then you can cut them out, okay? So, just take a sharp pair of scissors, just cut out on your lines, and if you're helping your kids do this, um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, Mom can cut this if you do want it really straight, um, but it's a good practice for cutting, and so, um, and you're gonna be covering a lot of these edges up once you stick this down with floral and different things. So it doesn't matter if your edges are a little jagged or not quite perfect. Okay, so I cut out the face and now I'm gonna cut out one ear. And we're not gonna do the whole thing. We're just gonna do the main part so that you see the process, okay? So. And the other thing I forgot to mention was when you start doing all of these little pieces, you might forget what is what. So like on this, you could put on here, you could write circle behind nose so that you know what it is, okay? And um, the ears, you can label left or right ear so that you know which, which ear it is. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do after you've traced all your pieces, you've cut them out, is you're gonna flip your pattern over. And now you're gonna be working on the B side. And this is because when you drew all your pieces, they're gonna be reversed on the other side. Okay, so once you've got your piece, um, all your pieces cut out, you're gonna flip it to the B side and you are going to peel off the grid side of the paper, making sure that the sticky sticks to your fabric, okay? So gently pull it off. And the bigger pieces, just be careful that it doesn't fold over and stick on itself, okay? And then you are literally going to put it down on top of your pattern, okay? Just like that, okay? And then you're going to say this was your, your left ear. So we're gonna take this out and we're gonna stick it down. Now this part, you can stick it either under the edge or you can stick it a little bit on top because you're gonna end up putting flowers and things on this area. So you're going to cover up essentially where this fabric joins right here. You'll end up covering it with flowers and things so um, anyway, that way, um, and then here's like samples of the insides of the ears you would stick down and, um, and you'll layer them just like you would any project that you're working applique where you do layers. Okay, so see, you just stick it down on top of that part. So you will layer your nose parts. You'll put the bottom piece first and then the felt on top of it. Um, so you'll just continue cutting all of your pieces out and then once you've done all of that, you can start on the floral piece. So I'm just going to stick a few pieces on here just so you can see what we're talking about, but you'll start seeing your bunny face come to life. And like these are the um, little blue pieces we cut out for the eyes. And um, so you can just start sticking things down. And this is such a fun project um, for kids because they can pick the colors they want. They can, you know, change the shape of the eye. And these are just literally guidelines for shapes. If you wanted to change the shape of your eye a little bit, you know, you just have the freedom to do whatever you want to. Okay, so once you have all of that down, then you can start working on your florals and that's all your embellishment. So you can go through all of these pieces that we gave you. And this is called fussy cutting when you literally just cut out around the shape of something that is on your fabric. So you can take small pieces of your Easy Steam and you don't have to put Easy Steam on the whole part of this. You could just put it on just a little part. Say I just wanted to cut out this flower right here, 
that I would just stick a little piece of Easy Steam right on that flour, press it just a little bit, and then it's very easy to cut out. And so you just go around the outside of your flowers and cut it out. And this doesn't have to be perfect. You can, um, like if I wanted to scallop around the edge a little bit, I could do that. Um, and then this is the fun part is just embellishing your bunny. And so you'll peel it off and then you'll just start adding all your cute florals and you can put them all over and so I want to go through these with just a little bit. Like this, you could cut out the flower on here. This, you could cut out like a little bird and put it up on the ear or a butterfly. Um, there's just so many different things. Things like this, you could actually cut out this as a smooth leaf and stick. You could use this as a flower center and just cut out scalloping around it. Use your imagination. It doesn't have to be a true flower to use that piece of fabric. So I'm gonna go through here and just show you, this would be like a good little leaf you could cut. You could cut out some of these little flowers. Just use your imagination as you go through these and cut out. Okay, and these are some that we've already cut out. So I'll just show you some different things that we've cut out. Just different um, flowers and things from different fabrics that we have found. So you can put them wherever. This was a cute vine that we found on a fabric and cut it out. It does, it is a little tedious and you have to have smaller scissors to cut out all of this, but it's super cute when you wrap it around an ear or you put it, you know, somewhere fun on here. Then, you know, other things you could do as embellishments on, um, on your clothing, you could do like little flowers down the front as, um, as like buttons or um, how, whatever you wanna do. You could make a little collar down here and, and do that in a different fabric. So um, then once you've gotten your whole entire thing done, then you are gonna press it down. And I like to lay a piece of fabric, like if I've got a piece of scrap fabric or something, you can use a dishcloth or a, a towel or whatever. I kind of like to just lay a piece of fabric over it before I press it. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that in case I've used something that has texture and that the iron might melt. And so like when you put your felt nose down on here, you really do need to cover that up with an iron because a lot of times the felt will melt. So you don't want that to happen. So um, you're gonna iron down your entire thing and then you're gonna go and you're gonna cut out your bunny. You're gonna go around the edge and you're just gonna cut out all around. And if you've got flowers sticking out, you're gonna go around those edges and you're gonna cut out all the way around your bunny. Then you're gonna take your bunny and you're gonna lay it on a piece of fabric. Whether you wanna make a pillow or you wanna make a tote bag or you wanna make um, a piece of art if you're gonna put this on a canvas. But you cut it out and then you lay it down. Like we laid it on a big square piece of fabric because we knew we were gonna make a pillow with it. So once you've put it on your fabric, you can use, um, you can use fabric glue, you can use Easy Steam. And what I would suggest, if you're gonna use Easy Steam, use some of your little pieces that you have left and just cut little pieces of it and then put it behind your bunny face when you lay it on your fabric. Just peel up pieces, stick this behind it, and put it down. And that will hold it while you stitch it um, to, your, to your piece of fabric. So I would, I would not recommend using any kind of glue that's gonna gum up your needle if you're gonna sew through it. I would definitely use like a fabric glue that's good for sewing or um, spray based if you're a quilter or a sewer and you use spray based, you can spray baste your bunny down to your fabric. Um, so I'll show you real quick the lion if you bought the lion kit. This is a sample of the lion that we've done. And um, you can see on here, there's so many options with the lion too. And you can do, this is gonna be your base fabric back here. 
There'll be a bigger strip for the nose in your kit and there'll be some neutrals down here to use as your base pieces. You can add whatever you want on here. This was such a fun project to do. We put birds in here and but we um, we haven't finished stitching this. We started stitching it, but we are stitching just circles all over it just to kind of hold everything down. And then we will actually turn this into a pillow. And you can see we even had a piece of selvage left from a fabric that we put a cute little saying in it. So you can really be creative with this and do just about anything with this. So I hope this has given you all the information you need to make a rabbit or a lion or a tiger. And um, please stay tuned. We would love for you to keep joining us on our projects. You can go to our website at bumbletees.com and find kits for these fun projects. And please pass this info along to all your friends who are bored at home and need something to do. And we will see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.